Members of the contact group on Yemen, including the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia, hailed progress in reopening the country's ports but warned resolving the crisis was being blocked by Iran's failure to back peace efforts. The Arab foreign ministers were hosted by Boris Johnson, the foreign secretary, on Tuesday against a backdrop of growing international calls for the opening of Yemen's ports to new aid shipments to prevent a humanitarian disaster. Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed, Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, and Adil al-Jubir, the Saudi Arabian foreign minister, attended. The Sadild coalition fighting in Yemen eased restrictions at the main airport and two key ports following a three-week freeze on operations after Iranian-backed how the rebels fired a missile at the Saudi capital Riyadh. Mr. Jubir said the meeting examined options for reviving political negotiations after 70 failed attempts at agreement. It also took account of the need to ensure that Iranian missile smuggling had stopped. This missile was an Iranian missile that was cut into pieces and reassembled. The U.S., the U.K., has examined this as has a U.N. team. It is Iranian. He added that the coalition has not blocked aid flows but has had to carry out inspections of cargo vessels to make up for a deficient U.N. mechanism. The ships carrying food and other supplies have been allowed in, he added. Not one ship has been turned down. The U.N. inspection mechanism must be upgraded, he added. It has only processed a handful of vessels. Blank. Read more Arab foreign ministers in London to discuss Yemen humanitarian crisis aid supplies arrive at Hodeida port in Yemen. Blank. Alastair Burt, the British minister for the Middle East, said good progress had been made on restoring shipments since the restoration order. Good progress made this weekend towards reopening ports in Sana'a airport in Yemen, he said. Important more access is granted to inbound ships. Uninterrupted commercial and humanitarian access is vital to prevent famine in Yemen. Three humanitarian flights landed and took off from the capital of Sana'a on Saturday while a commercial cargo ship and a unchartered vessel docked at two ports on Monday. British policy on Yemen states that a political solution to the conflict that erupted after Havi rebels and former President Ali Abdullah Saleh ousted the national government is the only means to restore long-term stability. Oman's foreign ministry was represented as was Washington by Under Secretary of State for Political Affairs Thomas Shannon. The UN Special Envoy Ismail Old Sheikh Ahmed also joined the summit of the so-called Quint Nations. Mr. Johnson told the meeting of the Quint that Iran must waive its preconditions to give backing to the mediation efforts. Only then could peace talks proceed. The people who are suffering most from this conflict are the people of Yemen, said Mr. Johnson. I welcome the steps taken towards reopening the ports of Hodeida and Salif and the resumption of UN flights to Sana'a Airport. The UK will continue to press for humanitarian and commercial access to be restored to all ports, so that the already dire humanitarian situation does not deteriorate further. We will also be taking forward the unled diplomatic process, as well as reviewing the security situation including the recent attempted ballistic missile strike. Rapidly dwindling fuel stocks are pushing at least 7 million people towards famine, according to the UN. The Saudi-Ild coalition went to war against the rebels, including the Iran-backed Houthi militias, in March 2015 on behalf of Yemen's internationally recognized government. But the coalition has made slower progress north of Aden and the rebels still control much of northern Yemen, including Sana'a. Over the past two years fighting for control Yemen has resulted in the deaths of more than 10,000 people. Theresa May, the British Prime Minister, who arrived in the Middle East on Wednesday, is expected to visit Saudi Arabia in the near future for further discussions on Yemen. She is also expected to focus on the Vision 2030 program for reform and modernization. The Prime Minister noted its focus on transformation, innovation and empowerment and said that the UK looked forward to continuing to work closely with Saudi Arabia on this ambitious project. She has also asked if Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman would be able to visit the UK in the near future to build on the historic partnership between the two countries. Speaking to journalists on her journey to the Middle East, the Prime Minister said we are very concerned about the humanitarian situation in the Yemen. The UK is the third biggest bilateral donor of humanitarian aid to the Yemen. We are very clear that we want to see humanitarian and commercial access through the port of Hodeida and that's obviously an issue I will be raising when I am in Saudi Arabia.